Hey you guys and welcome down by Lenita's Way. Yeah, today we have our first snowstorm. Um, right now it's about five or six inches of snow. Whew. But you know what? It just makes me think a little. I kind of want to do a rewind of this year. So stay tuned you guys. We're going to um, get together and we're going to go ahead and rewind backwards from the beginning of this year. We're going to review some of the moments of Down by Lenny This Way. So stay tuned. All right. Bye bye. Hey everyone, so we are here nice and warm. Um, so I just wanted to kind of go into this video. This video is a collaboration with other women um, and the person that's hosting is Miss uh, Clueless Mama D. She is awesome. And what I want to tell you is that if you have not gone to her page, I will go ahead and link her information down in the description box below and also um, attached with the other uh, beautiful woman that's also a part of this collaboration their information will be linked as well or the playlist will be linked as well as in the description box all right so there are a series of questions um, that we're all answering and let's go in with the first one Why did you become a YouTuber? Well, I became a YouTuber because I wanted to inspire other moms. I also was very bored myself. <laughs> and with that boredom, I just literally woke up and was like, you know what? I want to start filming. And so I did. Uh, my channel started off as just a hobby. But then it started to grow. I think once I learned more about what YouTube was and how to um, get my channel to grow more to other women, yeah, it, it started the kickoff. And I would say that was probably about six months after I actually started. So the next question is, um, how long have you been a YouTuber? I've been on YouTube roughly around I would say a year, a little over a year and a half, well, a year and one month. I started off in October of 2007. And again, I didn't really start growing or understanding YouTube until about six months after. Um, so that's when I started to post regularly. Um, I started off every week and then I am now posting three times a week. And that's Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday. What was your first video of 2018 about? Well, my first video was called Bye Bye 2018. And in that video, I spoke about my growth as well as my personal experience of 2017. Um, I went into, uh, into 2018 um, depressed. So I was more so thinking of good riddance 2017. I was ready for more progress. Um, I also spoke about um, the depression um, as well as my goals in that uh, video. How has your YouTube skills grown or changed from that first video? 
well. I always had the great ideas, but I didn't really have the specific software. Um, and honestly, I still don't have the software that I really, really want, but I've done a lot of research. But as far as my skills, well, the first thing is that I now um, do my videos going uh, this way versus this way as if I'm taking a photo. That was the first thing that I learned. Um, I had a few people, you know, come to me and say, hey, you know, you might wanna uh, change the way you're filming. And honestly, that helped a whole lot once I understood what they meant. Um, a lot of my skills also were the editing and just being able to broaden my ideas and my thumbnails have changed um, I still got a lot more work to do with those, but I would say compared to now and my video, well, my first video, it's super different and it's way better, more entertaining, I think. What is your favorite video of yours of 2018 and why? Well, my personal favorite is I refuse to disappoint myself. That's the name of my video. Um, in that video, I talk about why I refuse to be a perfect mom in general. And I just go over the specifics of embracing your motherhood as well as yourself. Um, I believe that that video shares a lot and gives a lot of great pointers um, to not only myself, but to others that may be struggling on feeling like you are you have to be the superwoman. So in that video, I go into the details of why I refuse not to be that superhuman. What is your least favorite video? Well, <laughs> my least favorite video is, um, it's a review that I did this year. It's the nine inch desk um, fan review. Now, don't get me wrong, the fan is awesome. And I did go over a lot of good details, but I didn't really like the video and how it turned out. I did get some views from it, but I decided just to keep the, the information there because I had a promotional code for it also. So anyone that decided they, they wanted that fan could also just kind of save a little bit of money. But I would say that's probably like my least favorite uh, video of this year. So um, in this next question, question it reads, which video had the most success in 2018? And that video is also another favorite of mine. It's called Having a Bad Day. Um, that video got... 972 views and I was so surprised because I know a lot of my other videos are not even close to that amount of views. Now I do have another video um, that has like a little over 500 views and then I have another one like 200 but this one I felt blew it out the park. So if you are interested again it's called having a bad day. You can find that um, and one of my playlists um, is called Monday Motivation, um, I, and I do those every Monday. Which pieces of footage remain unseen by your viewers, but were, uh, is worth showing? All right, so I don't know if it, I'm going to say if it's worth showing, but it's very funny to me. So I'm going to go ahead and show you this. It's, the video that this is connected to is um, the day at the fair. This is when I was trying to get my daughter on a video footage, but she was not cooperating and she kind of had an attitude. So here is the video. No, uh -uh. Okay, it's pretty much just a clip. So, but if you, <laughs> it's funny. To me, it's funny because I was like, you know what, Janaya, whatever. What was the biggest thing you learned in 2018? Well, 
to be honest with you, I learned that YouTube has a huge community, a really big community. And it's a bunch of women that are all trying to seek success. And it's beautiful. You know, we you find empowerment um, and you find friends and you find family. I've since been on YouTube when I found this community, um, I'm a better person, to be honest with you. I have people to talk to. You know, I think most of my friends are YouTubers, to be honest with you. So I would say that's probably the biggest thing that I learned is how to network, connect, um, and also have fun. And with all of that, you start seeing yourself being more committed as well as having more a consistency with your videos. Important posts were put on your other social medias that those who don't follow you there missed out on. Well, I have my Instagram down by Lenita's Web, and on that Instagram, I posted my t-shirts. So I have created, and I actually have fun doing this, but I downgraded the t-shirts and I will list, um, what, let me show you. All right. This t-shirt right here is pretty much the t-shirt that I created for my channel. And yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it has a lot because it's a front and a back. Um, the back gives my detailed information, but I started wanting to sell these shirts. Not yet though. I know I said December, but again, this is like a post that you have never known. So if you want to follow me on Instagram, it's down underscore by underscore Lenita's underscore and way. And the last question is, what can we expect to receive from your channel in 2019? Well, you want to know what that is? More videos. Honestly, this year I want to post more DIYs. Um, and I want my channel to be more entertaining. So I'm going to revamp. I know I do my Monday, um, Wednesday, and Saturday videos. I think I'm going to switch it up a little bit because I know I have Wednesdays Ask Lenita. I don't think I'm going to do that every Wednesday. It's more so probably going to be once a month where, again, whoever writes into me will have that um, ability to be able to get an answer from me. So I'm thinking that that's going to be, probably be the last Wednesday of the month. But my, I'm crazy. I'm like a goofy person. So I want to be able to show more of my goofballness in my um, in my videos. I mean, I'm going to do a lot of dancing, a lot of singing, a lot of crazy. I mean, just showing more of me. So you can expect to laugh in my upcoming videos in 2019. So again, by you watching this, become a part of my family and join me by subscribing. That way you can see more of this. Now, again, you guys, thank you so much for visiting um, this and check out the other girls um, in the playlist. Again, the link is gonna be down in the description box below. And again, thank you so much, Clueless Mama D, for putting this together. This was awesome. Check her channel out as well. Again, her channel is Clueless Mama D. And again, she's funny. She's funny as shit, all right? So that's all I have for you today. So thank you so much. You all have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your day. All right, bye-bye.